I'm Hope, November Delta 2 Lima, and welcome to hamradio.world. Today we're going to make you a video about Messi and Polony, which is an Italian company that makes coaxial cables. And we heard about them during our preparations for the dry tortugas, when we needed certain stuff for like lightweight but actually would work. So they have one of their things is a really lightweight coax that is called the Airborne 5. And today we're going to show you how to put connectors onto the coax. This coax that we're going to be demonstrating with is called the Ultraflex 10, which is a really durable one, but it's still flexible. They also have an Ultraflex 5, which we're going to replace these with. And there's stuff with the Go boxes that we're going to be making that's going to have the Ultraflex 5. So to start with, you need the connectors. These are from Messi and Poloni, and they come in a case like this. On the back, there is also instructions um, for if you forget stuff. And if you don't understand some of the videos or something that we do, then they have some of their own videos that you can scan on the QR code. A ruler helps, and Messi and Poloni has these durable scissors which are actually really good for what we're going to be doing because I can demonstrate when you use any regular type clippers to cut it those last two always tear here um, if you see that's really smushed and you don't want that. So what these are good for is they have a round part which you can use to go all the way around and you can hear all the different layers until you reach it to the very center and it goes up. And if you see that's a whole lot more round. Okay, so to start with when you open up these connectors you can unscrew it at the bottom, and there's five parts. This is the main part. This is the washer. This is the gasket thing for waterproofing. This is some sort of a washer, I think, but it's more like a hat. And this is the bottom to screw it on. Okay. To start with, when we put the bottom on, you want to keep the threaded part towards the end. Next, the washer. And then the gasket. You want to put these on before you strip it, otherwise you can mess it up. And it's also a whole lot easier. So. This thing is kind of tight, but it's supposed to be tight because that's will waterproof it when it's all smushed down. Next, using the round part of the scissors, we'll go about to 20 centimeters or two, uh, sorry, to 20 millimeters and two centimeters. And this is where the ruler helps because you need to get it pretty precise. Then you use the circular part going in a circle and it doesn't take a lot of time or um, pressure but you'll only go through the jacket. Be very careful not to go through the braid. I think I got it. Then a trick I learned, I'm not sure exactly what to call it or anything but once you have it broken through, it's usually pretty hard, even though you could just do this and push up. That works, but it's harder, at least for smaller hands. So you can kind of make a slit, still being careful not to go through the braid. That way it's easier for your fingers to get in.
from there. Next, you'll undo the braid. Okay, now that the braid is all separated, then you'll take up the hat thing and leaving the brim up, you can stick it on. Sometimes this um, film kind of gets in the way. So another thing you can do is you can take the scissors, kind of as a little lever, and open it up a little more. So you'll shove it up and it'll go underneath the braid and the jacket. Okay, so after you've got the hat underneath the braid and the jacket, you'll want to trim it. Using the tips of the scissors as regular scissors, go through the wire and trim it along the brim of the hat. Thank you. Okay, next part would be to use the round part and take off the foil. Okay, then you'll strip off the dielectric. You want to make sure there's no shorts between the center conductor and all the little pieces of braids. So the next step would be to put the connector onto this. Sometimes it's a little hard to get the wire to the center conductor to line up with this thing, but this time it was straight, so. Then you push all of that up and you'll screw this in. Okay, so once you get it about finger tight, um, we're using a couple wrenches. and you'll want to um, tighten it together. This part can help with two people, but it's not necessary. Next, you would want to solder this. I'll get it to lay right for the solder. How you would do this, this is only my second one, so hopefully I'll do this right, but you'll take the solder and you'll tin the iron and you'll place it onto this. You'll want it to get heated up so that it'll flow in, but you don't want to have it on so long so that the copper will get really hot and then melt the dielectric. Yeah, it's soaking up now. Okay, that's good. So that's it. That's how easy it is. Um, so keep watching um, our other videos that we're going to be posting of um, building our goal box. That's also going to have us working with more coax. Um, the Ultraflex 5, we're going to have in it. So keep watching out for those videos, and 73.